Hello. Tube Surfers Sheep Chaser here. Um, uh, just kidding, it's Bubba Drew. Um, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, the demo at least. Now, the previous video I had a problem with the audio recording. Um, so the game volume was significantly louder. In 400 than... yards. Turn left. Oh, I forgot about you. Uh, but the game volume was a whole. Once again, getting distracted by everything. The game volume was louder than my voice. And all you could really hear is like a mumble of my commentary. I mean, there, I didn't really say anything important. <laughs> like the rest of my videos. Um, but yeah, hopefully. Uh, in this video, you can actually hear my voice, because I adjusted the master game volume, so it's half. At least, you would think that would help. You never know if it actually will or not. Oh, discovering roads all over the place. And yes, uh, call me a noob all you want, but I like to have a breaking race line. I can never really memorize like gears you very well at your destination. and breaking areas. Man, it must be something to be driving a Dodge Charger in the UK. I'm sure people have done it in real life. Let's just start this race event. Okay, it's just all a muscle car series, I guess. Look at some of these names too. There's Sir of Paladin. And there's, uh, I Sir Paladin is covering the other ones. It, 3KK, and the Vacant Haddock, Bow Random Hero, interesting. These aren't actually players, uh, for those of you who are not, uh, in the know. These are, like, Drivatars that, um, I guess you could take, take samplings from other players. Sounds kind of weird when I say it like that, but... And they use their names. I really don't know how accurate it is or not. Yeah, the Napalm Nova. That when I get the full game, that's a car I'm gonna have to drive because that's a really cool looking Nova. Let's catch up with this Camaro. Oh, I can totally see this section right here being a drift road. Actually, you know what? How you like them apples? I mean, it's not really professional drifting, but it's drifting to some extent. That's a power slide right there. Still cool. I gotta say, even though I'm running on potato graphics, this game is really looking good. And, uh, as I said in my first video that you probably weren't able to hear, um, I'm surprised that my computer is even attempting to run this. Because it's kind of weak. Man, once again, the, the roads are really, really cool looking. Or maybe that's just the, the way the course is set up, and it's making the roads look more scenic than they actually are. I don't know. Ooh, interesting finish line set. Oh, wait, no, this is the festival. Never mind. So here. Finished. First place. Oh my wow. guys, dirty. You really are the image of Frankie Beaumont. Sorry, Joel Carter, Horizon Driver Relations. Now, do I have an opportunity for you? There's a movie shooting nearby that's in need of a stunt driver. Short notice, I know, but what do you say? Meet me here ASAP, and I'll introduce you to Mike Steele. He's a stunt coordinator for the movie. Oh, this is actually really cool sounding. Oh, story? Just story missions? Okay. Well then. Well, I couldn't imagine it being more appropriate. I'm going to a movie shoot in a car that Hollywood likes to destroy. Unless, of course, they provide me with some other car. Turn left. Which probably Turn will left. happen. That was an interesting looking truck. I 
is so close. Interesting setup too for the Horizon Festival. It's all geometric. Who needs roads? We're going off. Oh crap. Okay, maybe I should have stuck to the roads. It appears though uh, it doesn't want to tolerate me. In 200 yards, oh crap. Left. Jump. Oh, yeah, I don't really care. That's flatter than something that's flat. Let's see here. What is this going to entail? I'm curious. The stunt driver, yeah, chapter they are. one. You just star of the silver screen. Hardly the doppelganger you promised. You having a laugh? They're like twins. <sighs> You'll do. Of course. Mike Steele, by the way. Today shoots a getaway scene. Head over to Broadway Village. We've got everything set up there. The kid better be as good as you say. Oh, don't trust me. I've played stuntman before. Anyone? Right. Off to Broadway. And step on it, yeah? We don't want to lose the light. Yeah, you're, 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 <laughs> the first day on a movie set job. And they... Uh, and they allow me to drive a Bugatti Chiron. Those are some, uh... They have some faith in me, I guess. That that Mike Steele guy, he he may not seem like it, but oh wow. Yeah, this thing be destroyed. But this is Forza, that can happen. I mean a movie stunt driver should be able to, you know, hit objects and stuff and cause destruction on screen to entertain people, so it'd be kinda you a made thing it. to do, right? That was quick. Uh, right. Let's get everything set up. Well yeah, of course it was quick. I'm in a Bugatti. What You're do you going expect? In at the deep end, but at least you look the part now. This is a classic car escape. The hero's being chased by a jet and escapes by jumping through an old windmill. Don't ask. If you're as good as Joel says, this should be no trouble. Hey, remember to breathe, kid. Just don't let it get away from you. I'll talk you through it, you'll be fine. Oh, this is gonna be cool. What, is this like some sort of spy movie ripoff or something? Jump farther than the target distance. Hook it left, but keep your foot down! Oh, crap, I'm not hit. vehicle! To the danger side. Yeah, the baddies in a jet plane. So what? You just keep that needle in the red. Maybe do some evasive maneuvers. Man, okay, so it's like a showcase event all the And the baddies overshot you, and your hero is safe. For now. Good. This is all good stuff. Don't relax, kid. We're not done. Keep it loose and fast up the hill, then back down. Still got the jump to do. Yeah, I'm not the best driver. The road's blocked off ahead, so you're gonna cut across the field. They'll add something in post, crashed alien ship or something. It's all marked out for camera coverage, okay? You just line it up, floor. Okay, I gotta rewind, because I'm not gonna make that jump. And excuse me for the gaps in commentary, I just like to let the characters do their thing. Pray. <laughs> wow, that, those are some words of confidence right there. Just pray. I mean, if I had to jump a Bugatti Chiron. Hey, eyes forward. Ignore the camera. Try to look heroic. And nice. that is a wrap, everyone. Congratulations, kid. You survived. Reckon you can do that again? I'll give you a number to casting. Call you if there's another job. That's actually, that's actually kind of cool, how that's laid out like it's a Stuntman-esque uh, campaign. I mean, it's not like Stuntman because there's no, like, 90 degree handbrake turn here, go over there, chase the car, hit that object, like that kind of thing. But still, it's pretty cool. Oh, 
I'm all for dirt racing. Heck, I'm on the dirt right now in a Charger. This is the Dukes of Hazard, pretty much. I assume that I come back to the same location in order to advance that particular campaign. Okay, I forgot I'm in the UK. I have to drive on the other side. Okay, is the full map open? Oh, uh, ah. That is the same Camaro! What the heck? Huh, I, like teleported. I, I don't know how open the map is going to be. Because I know in the past, like Horizon demos, you they've cut the map destination. so that you couldn't explore all of it. So I assume something like that will happen. Pretty cool so far. I'm always, um, you, I'm usually satisfied with Forza games because, as I said, I'm a car person. A lot of people don't really like. Get you set up with some new tires. Come and see me after the race if you need anything else. Ah, it's you. I heard about the stunts you pulled for Joel. You know how to drive, don't you? Sorry, I'm Alex. I run dirt racing for the festival. Speaking of which, you'll need a car that can handle the dirt. Oh, I get another car. This is awesome. Let's see here. Ford Escort RS Cosworth. Subaru. Oh, look at that. That's a Lancia right there. It's like a Group B car. You know what? The others are mainstream. I'm gonna do this thing. Something a bit more exotic. Hmm. Solid pick. You obviously know your stuff. Yeah, those are some... You know the crazy thing is? They made production cars of this thing. And what's up with the bag shifter? That's weird. That That's something that, o that only Group B could pull off. Also, I heard that there's a PLP-50 in this game, and that is just really cool. If you don't know what that is, I'll just let you look it up and you enjoy it. Oh, there's another Lancia right next to me. Nice. That's the Delta S4, I think it's called. And there's a Subaru Impreza in front of me, like those two-door ones. It's like my favorite Impreza. Oh, there's like a, there's a more stock-looking 037. Well, rewinding that. You see, this is why I have rewind. But yeah, as I said, that's what a stock, that red car in front of me is what a stock 037 looks like. AKA my car. I already got right now. And there's also a Peugeot, too. The, the, the Turbo 16, I think it's called. I can't remember. It's a really cool car. It's based off of the. Uh, 205 GTI, I think it is. And it's another sort of Group B special. It's a Quattro, it's awesome. I hope I'm not boring anyone with my... <laughs> with my knowledge. And I don't mean for that to sound like I'm bragging or anything. It's just the way I talk. There's a later Delta, uh, HF Integral, I think it's called. Hopefully they'll give me the benefit of the doubt and notice, hmm, this guy hasn't really raced on dirt. We'll, uh, we'll, have, we'll give him time. I love rally racing, by the way. It's, like, it's easily one of the nuttiest motorsports ever. I mean, to be able to get into a relatively normal looking car that's been souped up to the nines um, and then just floor it down like a dirt road in any condition whether it be ice like rain or whatever that's just awesome to me this corner yeah, this thing is looking this thing looks like the bottom of this thing looks like it's covered in chocolate milk. Please tell me I'm not the only one that sees that. Okay, clearly I could use a bump in the difficulty. I'm not I'm not gonna delete rewind because I know I will need it, because otherwise I have to restart the entire race again. And believe me I know so because I've played a lot of older racing games. 
Gran Turismo. And I know what that feels like. Corner. Yeah, this thing's actually pretty stable when you're not driving like an idiot like I am. Or like I was. Which is actually kind of interesting for a car that was in Group B and it's just a death machine. Hey, so that's what I'm here. I'm hearing good things about you. Oh, sorry, my name's Jay. I might have something that'll interest you. There's a street race meetup, and I think you should check it out. Oh, See you there? We're going into some underground street racing type stuff. Ooh, fast travel board. Nah. Uh, do I want to do that? Uh, I think I'll save it for another video, actually. Uh, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would definitely like to know... If you guys are liking this Forza video, or uh, Forza Horizon demo, I definitely am. And I'm definitely liking the car lineup I'm already building. I mean, I got a Charger and a Lancia. That's like a big jump in cars right there. Anyways, if you like the video, feel free to leave a comment saying so. And other than that, I will see you all later.